Is that it? Where's your most recent? Was it still a huge power loss though? <clears throat> All right guys, I wanna show you kind of what goes into dyno or the ADV stuff. Pat's probably got two and a half hours of running it, testing different combinations. Um, just wanna show you guys what's going on and some of the other projects as well. Take the brake off. Little oh, flames <laughs> The Dustin's over there putting the other wheel on for the front. But to show you guys how much time is put into testing and tuning and going through everything. Pat's probably been doing this for about three hours today, just trying to get this thing up to where it should be. <laughs> Later today, that's going on. So for parts on this one here, guys, we have the Yumanashi Variator, um, we have the Melosi uh, Clutch and Bell combo on that guy, we have the A-Racer um, AF1 setup with the RC Mini and the 3-to-1 cable all on the website. We have the DCR camshaft, I don't know what that is, but you have DCR cam on that guy, and uh, he's messing with the airbox. Paul's doing the different variators and Paul's doing the good work. Is that ADV? That's funny. <laughs> Somebody call about the ADV. Um, we have the cam shop on this guy. We have the A racer. Uh, we have a wide band hooked to the um, Yoshimir exhaust. I think that's it. Oh, bigger injector and bigger fuel line coming um, on there, which we're, we've ordered right now. We also have... Uh secret codes that we're putting in our videos from here on out. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but you gotta watch the whole video through, make sure your notifications are on. So it's very helpful for discounts. Anywhere from like 5%, 15%, just depends on how we're feeling that day when we're making it. Some of Jay Bush says, I like that you guys hire felons. Dustin is definitely a felon. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Dustin's probably, um, he's the, the nicest person in this shop. Well, Paul, actually Paul's really not, I said Dustin's the nicest person in the shop, but I realize Paul's actually really nice too. You and I are definitely the people that maybe aren't yeah, quite as nice. I'm probably the meanest person. He's the me. meanest, yeah, he's the grumpiest, but he's getting better. I'm not really grumpy though. He used to be. I wish you were closer. Gladly let you have my moped for an update. I would like to take your moped. Paul here, what? he's the moped king. Nope. He's a noped. A no noped. <laughs> no yeah, yeah, you're not a pedophile. No, listen, no we're not going down that road. Um, <laughs> All right, since I have you guys, so we're good. Any questions? We're going to make a custom, what, air box, a uh, little air, some stuff for the air box to get we're some more things. We're going to source one or make one ourselves, and then we're going to put a bigger throttle body on stuff so we can hopefully get some more horsepower. The air box is 100% of restri restriction. It, it's like two horsepower at the very, very top end down. What's up? So, so stock was, what was our wheel horse stock? Huh? What was our wheel horse stock? Was it 10 point something? I think so. I'll have to double check. Ten point something, eleven, twelve. So about four ish wheel horse gain total. Yeah. But the other thing is the we were losing horsepower. We were, it was dying off around ninety eight hundred, ninety five, ninety nine thousand no, RPM. Less than that. Yeah. So it was it was dying off. It would, the horsepower would come up and it would just dip. And now it's just not. Oh, I can I show you guys the difference in power um, with the airbox and all the stuff we have. So let's go check it out. Here, I'm a little deaf now because uh, Dino's been going all day. Um, let me show you guys. A few other projects which you guys know. T-Max is getting a Dino Jet 
and a K&N. The twin needs to get uh, on the dyno soon. This guy is pretty much solid, good to go. The runner, funny enough, I've got people saying, hey man, your T-Max is totally slow. That thing's a pig. You don't know how to build. And because it because of how close these were, and I have 50% of the people are saying, hey man, your Galera is slow. You don't know how to build, man. Your bike is slow. So the fact that 50% of the people say that this should win and 50% of the people say that this should win, watching all the comments come in, this shows us a very fair race. That being said, I'm, I'm, I'm like Gumby. I'm built like Gumby. I'm 170 so pounds. And I was on that bike. Paul is built more like a, <clears throat> well, Paul's a, a huskier individual than he was on the T-Max. Um, I don't think you heard me. So yeah, these are really two really good bikes. This bike cruises it at 90 to 100 miles an hour, no problem at all. This likes to be about 75 to 80. Both really fast bikes, both a lot of fun, different reasons. Um, I have a question, what causes a scooter RPM to rise crazy high when idle? You have a giant air leak, that's what causes that. This guy, we're waiting on um, the uh, second invo or we're waiting to move forward on this Aerox. We've got, it's getting 8.1 billet cases and uh, 8.1 um, full, full build top to bottom. And, and hopefully, I think we're doing paint as well too. So uh, is Dustin dressed like Captain Jack Sparrow? Dustin's not anything like Jack Sparrow. But um, this guy, funny story you guys heard, the guy basically tried to scam us on this. He paid us to build a bike, and then he, long story, but he basically just vanished. So, yeah, so yeah we're going to take this, and it was funny. This is like we're just sitting here collecting dust. Um, but, yeah, if you need help fixing your Zuma, if you bought the stuff from us, give us a call. If you didn't call the shop you got it from, that's something um, very important to go over. We're getting calls every single day and emails every day. Hey, about all these parts. And these guys can vouch for it too. He does our Instagram and social media every day. Hey man, I got all these parts, can't get it tuned. We say, please call the shop you bought your parts from. They say, they won't help me. I can't get a hold of them. We can't get involved between your products and, and the company you bought parts from. Because um, there are times it could take us three hours worth of back and forth and back and forth. And we don't have the time. We dedicate our time to our customers. So we can't dedicate our time to other stores customers. So be very smart when you choose where you're buying from because i mean pat's seen we both spend probably i mean a there, lot of there, time there's probably two to three hours a day between the both of us just talking to customers with stuff like that and i mean i'm not the genius when it comes to this stuff so i obviously refer back to paul and brandon so but literally at least bare minimum one to two a day somebody's like hey we need help with this and we love helping you guys that's why we make the videos and stuff like that to help all of our customers and other people but we can't like spend hours on the phone texting and messaging over stuff that you're having a problem with uh, another company because yeah. no other companies seem to have support yeah. for the most part i mean there's companies and other fields that have support but in scooters and stuff there's really not anybody that's very supportive it seems like yeah and we get it really common with somebody to say hey i bought a pipe from you or i bought a set of gears or a coil but my bike's doing all this stuff and we ask them what they have and and they've got the wrong variator the wrong everything's all wrong and like well i just bought all this stuff can you help me make it run well we can't because part of what we do is offer service for our our, our customers and and i have i could go through a screenshot and show two, 300 messages with somebody that maybe spent 300, 200, 300 dollars with us. And we've got, you know, two, three hours into time back and forth helping. And we're happy to do that as long as the parts came from here mm -hmm. and, and we know what it is. We know what we sold. We know where you should be, but if you're buying stuff from other shops. You really need to go to that shop to ask them, Hey, what's going on with my bike? How do I fix it? How do I tune it? And you're probably going to find that they're not going to help, but that's where you have to make up your mind kind of, uh, what way you want to go with it. Um, yeah, and it's not that we don't want to help you. It's just we, we literally barely have enough time to do this. We don't have enough time to yeah. do the stuff that we're doing. You know, we have five different projects that Brandon wants to get done for his own and for the shop. And then there's seven projects or more for of bikes for customers. Then we have people that walk in the door. We have people that are messaging us on Instagram, messaging us on Facebook, messaging us on Google, YouTube, Google. Two, three, four, three, four email accounts. Yeah, four, four email accounts. So it's it's not it has nothing to do with if if we ever come off like scooter swap shop. That's website. Yeah, Subscribe. Scooter swap shop .com. Uh, If we ever come off maybe short, it's not 
not ever intended that way. We're just answering the question or looking for your, uh, your order number, mainly so we can help our customers first before, like if we have time, Brandon helps a lot of people when he has some time, but he's, we're trying to get Brandon from not answering messages and helping people after he's off work. And uh, so he has time for his family and stuff like that. That's kind of part of why I'm here is to alleviate yeah. a little bit of pressure while, so he can spend time with his family and, you know, not go crazy. And, we're crazier. Yeah, crazier. Yeah. And we're getting so busy that we, we have a part-time person that's here when we're busy and he's back. So we're that busy that John is back helping us one to two days a week and maybe more down the road. Uh, we are going to make a video about Aerox. Oh, yeah. Boom. There it is. There's the video. Yeah. Video's the full done. build. <laughs> well, do we even... I, I don't think we started on this. Well, no, we haven't... We haven't, made, we haven't posted it. Yeah. We haven't, we haven't posted it yet. But like Patrick said, it the when we just allot time for our customers and not other sorts of customers, that gives us better quality, better customer service for our customers. So, you know, if, you know, we just... You just got to go to the store you're buying the parts from and, and it gets... It gets pretty daunting sometimes because we may get 30, 30 or 40 phone calls or whatever, probably, I don't know, by at least five or 10 a week. It's a lot. Yeah, but. it just depends on the day of the week. But yeah. I mean, if you want questions answered fast, call us. Uh, the number's on the website, the number's on the Instagram, on the Facebook. Just call us right away. Just press the number, it'll say, do you want to call? Bam, call. And we can answer your question a lot faster that way. Not that we don't want you messaging us and we know that you know, at least 40% of you guys are from out of the country. So it makes sense. Um, but also understand that, you know, we want to help you guys and this is a business. So we, we have to yeah. keep the lights on. Yep. Um, so let me, New Jersey, New, York. New Jersey. Yeah, it's cool. We have people from Australia, New Zealand, Thailand, Taiwan, oh, China, I'll just name a country that has scooters all right? over the Absolutely. place. So it's really cool. And we, we really appreciate everybody's um, everybody's support, uh, keeping us in business. We're, I mean, Pat's got a job. I have a job. Dustin has a job. All of us have jobs because of you guys. So thank you. Yeah. Um, thank you. It's, uh, really humbling to, to have everybody here, um, giving us love. Columbia so SC full bikes. South, can you ship to Columbia? Uh, South Columbia, Columbia? We can, not full yeah. bikes, but we can ship parts. Boston, what's up, man? Hey, yeah. My job is to love Dustin. <laughs> Jay, you got this figured out. Dustin, <laughs> he's awesome. Um, well, let's show you guys a little walk around and also everybody here, I mean, you guys are all subscribed, but, Damn, Morocco. but, um, Morocco, that's awesome. Um, uh, we're going to try to do a little bit, some more live videos. We just get so busy with what we're doing. It's hard to pull away. Um, it's hard. Thanks buddy. I appreciate that. AJ. It's hard to pull away from what we're doing during the day to do live videos, but it, it's fun. And it kind of shows you guys, um, what we got going on. So let's go take a little, little walk here. We kind of went over all these bikes here as well. And I'm trying to chip away at my personal stuff um, because it, it's, I don't have time for my own project. So um, that, I, I'm going to try to ride that a bunch this summer. So that's got to get worked on over here. Ooh, we got this new bag. Woo right here. I bought this Marini. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Jay, scooter swap shop versus everyone. Dude's got it figured out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Marini SR50. We're doing a uh, carb swap on it, big bore kit, pipe, variator, all that good stuff. I bought it. Yeah, so I bought it and making a wheelie bike out of it, but I'm picking up two pre bugs this weekend. So we're still going to, yeah, we're still going to have to build it. May end up being a raffle bike. Maybe a raffle bike. So it's going to get totally kitted out. It'd be good. Probably 65, high 60s bike. Uh, this little guy we got, but it's going to go because um, we ain't nobody got time for, for Honda Mets here. Yeah. Uh, Still here. Yeah, he, he needs to pick it. Time. Yeah, uh, Pat's working on his CBR. It's gonna go on the dyno. Uh, gonna go on the dyno. Yeah, tonight after work. That's a pretty cool bike. Um, this guy is gonna go on this lift here. This is getting an RC1 as well. Velocity motor on shelf. Um, so keep in mind, within a few weeks, we're gonna have some really cool. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, uh, power scrub. We're gonna have some really cool, um, really cool bikes um, to race around here. ADV, Bro, spoke you wheels. Talk about the Bosch? No, we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> um, actually, we have a whole video that's gonna be coming out about this and what to look out for. In when, bikes, yeah, Dustin yeah. Dustin and I went over it. Well, mainly Dustin. I Dustin, yeah. Uh, the Marini. 
SR50 that's getting a full build is all going together right now. Dustin's the, the pro over here getting it figured out, stage six shock. And then we have the second SR50 with a uh, 94 cc RC1. This is a Marini frame bike getting a Piaggio 94 cc RC1. It's getting naked bars, wheels, maybe billet wheels. Over here, we've got uh, this was the orange raffle bike, gold orange raffle bike, whatever you want to call it. Des decided to keep it here. Oh, yeah. Everybody they're says it's rigged. They're um, like yeah, they're. Woo! Nice job. Um, <clears throat> ooh, no. That's, That's not the right spring. Uh, oh, this needs to come off. It needs O rings in here. Oh, There's no O rings in it. In because they weren't. I gotta look for them. Check in that box and then let's get the mount on here. Um, again, this is the, so this is the pre bug here. And uh, this okay, is the raffle on bike. Monday, all about this, yeah. Why it's this and stuff yep. Like so stay tuned on this guy. Uh, we just have this wheel mocked up here just to roll this around. Um, but this is the back wheel that it's getting. And then the radiator is going to go up here in the front. So I went ahead, mounted our um, MVT coil here, mounted the Melosi water pump, uh, routed everything nice and clean up there. And then we got the Melosi offset shock. On this, this, so this is the raffle bike. The guy won it <coughs> buying one ticket. So what was one ticket? Like 35, I don't remember, 30, oh, 40 bucks? As, as low as 26 or 25 He bought a hoodie. It was like, oh, okay. So for 70 bucks, he won the whole bike and it, he won the whole bike and he already had this motor. So he decided, hey, why don't I just have you guys mount it? I just started this yesterday, what, like noon? Yeah. Maybe noon. Um, so yeah, we've got the motor mount in. Motor's all bolted up. Again, this is just for mock-up because the hub went out for machine work. Um, got the MBT in here. Just got to finish up the wiring. Uh, and then, yeah, that's his, his front end. So, <clears throat> so, so 94 cc, you guys may see some people making crazy 35 horsepower numbers. That is not the case. Um, estimated horsepower or whatever doesn't mean anything. It's, it's the number that the dyno is putting out. Um, so these... All these on a normal reading, honest dyno are gonna be <coughs> MVT. MVT is gonna lose a little bit of power. Um, we have a bunch of shocks online, Scooter Swap Shop. We've got a ton of shocks. Um, they are, they're gonna be about 19 to 23, somewhere in there. 19 is a little bit on the low, 21. But remember, this has just got the Delorto, which is a tw tiny 28. The 360 is a tiny, tiny manifold as well. So the guys that are posting 30s in the 30s, that's 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 not the case. Um, yeah. So we've done a bunch. We probably we dyno. We probably got 50 or 60 runs on the RC ones here on on two or three different dyno jets, and they're all very consistent. Big Evos make about tw you know 19 to 23 as well. They're really close. Uh, over here we have two really rough pre bugs. Customer brought in. Wants to go over um, top to bottom, um, shipping some cases. We got you, dude. Uh, these things, he wants to go through top to bottom, but we're not sure what we're going to do yet because they're beach bikes and they're really, really, really rough. We're happy to fix them, but it's very expensive uh, to get these bikes done. So kind of waiting on a few things there. Uh, we have another RC1 here on the shelf. This one is going in that bike over there. Uh, so yeah, if you guys got any more questions, um, that was supposed to be a build. The guy shipped it and then, uh, yeah. haven't heard back. So if you're here, yeah. let us know if you want us to build your bike yeah. because we're going to run out of time here pretty soon. Please. Yeah. Um, uh, tomorrow mini truck update goes live at eight in the morning. So make sure you're, uh, make sure you turn the notifications on that. It, it shows as a premiere right now. So you can just go to it, click it. It'll remind you as soon as, it, as it's ready to go. Up. Okay. Mini truck stuff coming. So I've been working at night with Paul here and there trying to work on the mini truck, get it going. And this one has really clean inners for the most part. You want to see that the best pre-bug pipe really depends on what you're doing um, on pre-bug. If you want bottom end, if you want torque, if you want top end, it just really depends. You've got to kind of wrap your whole brain around, um, <clears throat> wrap your brain around what you want to, to be able to pick the right pipe. So somebody asked, they want to see the 180. Um, went ahead and destroyed my tire as you guys saw for Christmas, which I'm not doing that anytime soon because it's a nightmare to get the tire off on this bike with the torsion arm. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's got some, it gets used guys. Our bikes here, they get used, but, uh, gonna, 
get these fairings off, I think, at some point and replace them with the OEM ones. But that's going to be in... Yeah, as soon as the other stuff goes to paint, the, the yeah. should probably go with them. And uh, I'm going to get some different masters, too, because this one, as you can see, it's been bled, and so I think this master shot on this bike because I bled it and bled it doesn't help. Um, T Max is, a, I love that bike. I got tires for it uh, sitting down over here, which need to go on. But as you guys can see, we have so many bikes in here and so little time. Um, I don't have time to work on my own bikes, but uh, yeah, so there you guys have it. Um, you got any questions? Let us know. Post down below. In your comments, um, let us know what you want to see, what you'd like to see from us, changes. Um, oh, we have Motion Pro cables. They've been gone for like seven months. Um, let us know what you want to see, uh, what you'd like to see different. Um, a lot of you are going to post, hey, I want to see more content on Aerox or, or these different types of bikes that, that didn't come here in the United States. We just are lucky enough to have a couple here. So it's really hard to do content on bikes that are really hard to get. Still um, be able to order a 94 Melosi in the near future? I need a job. 94s? Yeah. yeah, any of the 94s we can get, it's it's about a week to get. We don't stock them in the winter. They're not huge sellers in the winter, of course, but it's about a week to get an RC. Um, snow drifting. I like this guy. And we went ahead and got all of our, going through inventory, getting our stuff a little bit more dialed, um, getting some cleaned up here so we can ship things faster and have more of a, an accurate count on inventory. So uh, TFC DO stuff, we've got a good amount of it. Electron or VHST for 100cc tube pads? Uh, Electron, if you can afford it. They're spendy. But I think that's like, that's it. Live in Florida, we drift in sand. That's what the guy says. What'd you say? That's what he says. If you can afford... You need a temp gauge for an AF16. What's up, buddy? It's been a long time. need a temp gauge? There's one right here. No, I think he said a video. I think. You just... I think I have one. I have one. Oh. Temp, temp, temp gauge yeah, I'm live. Temp gauges in stock. Boom. Temp gauges. You want to see temp gauges? We got temp gauges. If somebody wants more how-to videos, we have tons of them. Maybe leave a comment in Ooh, a video and ask. There's going to be three people watching. I'm just reading the comments. If anybody's wondering, Paul survived. You guys know he was almost murdered oh, yeah. by his roommate. And he survived, so he's here. He almost, yesterday he did? So, yeah. Paul's alive and he's here. So you guys, when you guys call on the phone, it's this guy here who's been busting his butt helping you guys with parts and yeah. questions and will this fit on my moped and all that stuff. Um, Honda Express? These jets fit my Honda Express. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or, or, or me. Uh, Paul and I do online. He has most of it. Uh, Patrick's doing all of our media, doing a killer job. So um, you guys are awesome. We'll be contacting you about my bike and progress. Yep, do it, buddy. Um, Somebody said, or uh, uh, AJ Motorsport says, God is with him always. You, Paul, because you're live. What? Yeah. yeah said, God, God is with him <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Do you guys have any other questions? Ask before we get off here. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe or not. 30 people. What are you building, Paul? Tell them about your Senda. Ooh. Senda. Uh, so I was going to do all this fancy stuff that Pat suggested. I was like, yeah, that's a lot of money. That's it? Well, Paul, Paul asked me specifically, hey, Pat, can you help me build the Senda like you did with the Jixer? And, and Pat I was, was like, like, I guess. I will if you're willing to listen we do have, and take advice. We do have pre-bug pipes. Lots of them. Ooh, pre-bug pipes. Oh, look at Paul. Right up here. Ooh, ooh, right up there. Ooh. We got up here, up here, right here, right here. Up here yeah. your Sunnies. Over here. Right there. A fully built bike really depends. What you want? Uh, I said, how much for a fully built bike? Um, I will tell you right now. And half of you guys won't believe this, and how much time it takes. That bike we have twelve thousand dollars into or more. This bike, the customer, whoever built this bike, not including the cost of labor, is probably looking at. Do you think eight? Uh, probably six. With, with both motors, probably almost ten or No, I'm saying what he has into it, like what? Right yeah, what? what six, probably eight. Eight grand. Seven or eight. This bike I have probably, yeah. This bike I probably have probably six or seven thousand into. That twin I probably have ten thousand into. Um, that thing that deal is actually you know cheaper, but that deal I probably have three or four thousand into. So if anybody thinks that's astronomical, 
you can see right over there how much time it takes to build a bike. It how takes forever. With the cost of this bike, how much? 10 or 11, probably. Damn, you just buy a T-Max and it's pretty much just as fast. It's different. <laughs> What's funny is half the people are like, this thing is so slow. And the other half are saying, this thing is so slow. But but obviously, if 50% of the people say one's faster and 50% say the other, it just shows how good of a race a it is. people are like, oh, you, you can make them faster than that, like in our video. But you can. Real, realistically, Brandon doesn't want that. He just wants it reliable and fast. And right now... Electric start. Electric start, everything, the electrics work on it. It's reliable. Probably has some gas in it. We'll start right now. Well, there's the key. You want to find the key? I bought a scooter for $300 on Leo Vance TT. Dang, Woo! I think we need a live glare burnout. <laughs> I am not doing any more burnouts, guys. Where do you Paul had to ask because he just like, oh, yeah. We'll see if this bike's reliable. It's your battery's a little weak. Let's see. There you have it. There you have it. So you can see how cold it is. Oh yeah, it's, it's just a ripper. In stock. In stock. So that's why I built this bike. It fires right up, idles great, starts good, electric start, everything works. Not a race bike. This is a, a bike I could cruise all day long on. So I'm, I got enough. I got enough bike. Well, this isn't even a race bike either. This bike, this bike, pro we should weigh it. I bet you this bike did weighs. Did you buy this bike under the intention of having a nice four stroke and reliable scooter? I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How'd that turn out? Not, well, it's. It's fine. Uh, this is not a race bike either. Well, Runs on. Everybody watching the videos yeah, on this. A, it is a four stroke. It's a two, yeah, it's that's two true. Strokes. Top speed on this bike. I haven't maxed it out. What did you say? Didn't this do 88 90, stock? 90 what was it bone stock? Ooh, 96. No, I thought it was 89 or something stock. Maybe it was 90 something. This bike it should did, do well, well over 100. It did well over 100 on the dyno, like 104. And you just Right now it does 90 something. 90 minimum. This, this like, bike should do well over 100, should. Yes. But you could cruise at yes. 85, 90, like cruising at, you could cruise at 80 miles an hour, probably quarter to half throttle on this bike. Yeah, how much money do I need to ride it? this bike home? And I rode it back here and took my car home. And how, and how was it? How do you like it? It was, it was too fast, I can't hurt myself. Yeah, it's got, it needs a steering stabilizer because it's, it's, it, it's scary at higher speeds. The front end's light. Um, this bike, so <clears throat> how many miles an hour? No, how many miles on it? How many miles have I put on it? Yeah. Uh, no, I probably put, I mean, I did a lot of, the whole weekend is Super Sunday. I didn't do the main ride. It was probably like ferry to ferry. Three to 500 miles. Probably three to 500 miles, but they are hard, hard miles. How much money I need to put in my Aerox to make it go 60 miles per hour? Grandma goes 100 on the side streets. Your grandma sounds like a boss. You send her number. Paula, give her a call. Nope. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Aerox to 60. How, how much? Well, I, I, Aerox to 60 miles an hour should need maybe 800 bucks worth of parts because yeah, they're probably, probably going to be high 40 bone stock. But, um, but yeah, anyways, that runs on pump fuel. That's a heavy bike. For everybody watching that bike, race, whatever, that bike, my guess is probably, it's probably 200 and... <sighs> no, it's not that heavy. It's in the high twos probably. Probably two, it's probably 260 or something like that. Heavy wheels. Those wheels are super heavy. It's on pump fuel and all weight. that. It it's probably high twos, I bet. Oh, 100%. Yeah, high twos. So um, this probably... I was probably heavier than this, actually. Oh, yeah. It's heavy. Yeah. That's a heavy yep. bike. But anyways, all right, guys. I'm going to actually get back to work. Um, well, it's been good. Sun is shining on us today. Right? Yeah, second day in a row. Yeah. Here. Yep. Yet uh, the day before, it literally rained for like 40 hours. Yeah. Straight. What's uh, what's up with S6? Are they coming back? Uh, which parts are you talking about on stage six? Because stage six is. They only make one part. Yeah. Well, stage six, they won't even answer my messages right now. I haven't heard, I haven't gotten a reply from stage six for uh, right on Chuck Barnes. Thanks for sending out another stage six or ZX clutch. Um, haven't heard from stage six. They won't answer my, they won't even answer my stuff. It's been three weeks, four weeks since I've heard from them. So stage six guys, good parts, 
really not good when it comes to communication, customer service, getting things in fast. So, um, what are you doing? We're going to Las Vegas April 9th through 11th. 12th. 12th. So, cranking with CG said that he's coming out to meet us from, I think, Arizona. Uh, the guys, a bunch of guys from Florida, Troy Montero and Jojo may fly, may come out. Hopefully, uh, Piaggio Zip, you need to buy one. They are not common here. You can find a couple. You can find a couple, but they're pretty, probably pretty beat up, oh, wrecked, and they're probably several thousand dollars. Uh, they're the first, the yeah, which we don't want those. So guys, um, everybody asking, Zips did not come here. These did not come here. These did not come here. Um, Sendas didn't come here. Paul's, you can't even find Paul's United States either. Yeah, wow. Would you quit? Stop messing with it? I have a kind of rare bike. It's more. No, bro. it's definitely not rare. It's, no. not, it's not common. Yeah, it is. There's not that many of them. There's like 5,000 of them. <laughs> yeah, 4,800 of them. There's probably, there's probably what, maybe four Aeroxes in the United States? Maybe? Uh, maybe three, four, five? I know of three. I know of two. I know of, uh, probably like four. Four. Four to ten. Runners, maybe. There's. We know, of, know of. This one and that red one. So two that we know of. Two that we know of. There's so there's probably one eighty. So there's probably less of. There's probably like one twenty fives and stuff. So runners in general probably like eight. Eight, maybe. 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 That's a generous guess. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to show them? No. We got a lot of stuff in stock. Ooh, A-Racer. Yeah, we got A-Racers for the ADV. Um, These colors don't run. Yeah, so, guys, we have the all stuff in for the ADV, too, if you're watching. Um, and the cables and cams. Bike. Raffle raffle bike? What? Tell about it? Oh. Zuma? Uh, Not quite no, we got another raffle bike coming here. So, uh, all your... AJ, your bikes are slow as F. Okay, come race. He's not talking to you. He's talking to somebody oh, else. Talking to somebody yeah. <clears throat> All right, guys. Like I said a couple times, I'm going to go back to work. Some, um, bought, bought an for five just so you guys know, you order from us, you're going to get you're going to get stickers. No, no stickers. Some people are going to get spark plug caddies. We're throwing in uh, everybody's in a lot of orders. Um, we've got a full pamphlet that's got thank you, of course, quick tips kind of about our shop, the team, um, kind of who we deal with and services we provide um, and whatnot. Can we get, uh, and we've got some keychains. We've got some candy up here, maybe. Paul's, uh, did you eat all the, did you eat the candy? Eat a lot of it. Okay. There's a little more. Got some candy, got some license below. plate frames. So, um, yeah, we're, we're uh, uh, he said he saw some old fries mixed in. Hmm. No, nope. no fries. Rubber There's a bands. roller in there. The roller in there. What's this? Key chain, NCY. Ooh, it's a Bintelli keychain. It's probably gonna break. Um, what else? So yeah, we always give out free stuff, and also we have a bin over here. You do some more wheelies? Sure can. Uh, we have a bin over here. It's called our junk bin. And it's yeah. basically all kinds of random stuff that we. We still have grab bags too. That are yeah, we do have grab bags. Well, I took them off off the internet. Um, hey, what's up? Good morning from the Philippines. Good evening. What is it right now? It's uh, four twenty. Um, we have a. Uh, a bunch of stuff as well that we've just been throwing in people's packages. We probably got two or three thousand dollars worth of just stuff that maybe out of out of box or it's not worth putting time putting uh, putting online that we've been putting in people's packages. Um, so, uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sweet Grom, what's up, guys? So yeah, this stuff is all freebie stuff that we're sending out this year. Um, we're just gonna give it out in all these packages. But all right, hey, fourth. Haters? Taters gonna take? All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe. Select Turn notification. Turn the notification bell on. And tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., video drops live. And Monday morning, 8 a.m. And remember, we're doing uh, percentage off in every oh, yeah. video is in a code. There's some sort of code. You got to watch the whole thing to make sure your notification bell is on. And it'll notify you when the video is going to go live. All right. Right on. Thanks, guys. I'll shut this thing off. I'll shut it off. Got it.